Two words you definitely don't want to hear from your doctor, super lice. Yeah. Mm. Lice so strong, you or someone in your family can get it without ever sharing a brush oh my or a comb. Yeah, the way normal lice is spread. So just how do you get it? CBS 19's Dana Huey verifies what you need to know as kids head to camp and soon go back to school. Lice, just talking about it, makes your head itch, right? And for some, it's the dirty little secret that no one wants to share has happened to their family. But get this, you are not alone. The CDC reports 6 to 12 million people get head lice worldwide every single year. Heather P. sent us an email asking us to verify this. Can CBS 19 do a story on if you can get lice from a movie theater? I think my daughters and their cousins got it from a seat. Maybe calling it by its official name will take away some of the stigma. Pediculus humanus capitis. The CDC says it's most common among preschoolers, elementary age kids, and anyone in their families or anyone who takes care of them. So, can you get lice from a movie theater seat? Here's who we talked to to get answers. This is Dr. John Page with Christus Trinity Clinic. The lice have been with humans as long as humans have been around. We've actually done some genetic studies that show that we've kind of evolved together. And this is Chad Richardson at 316 Pest Control. My philosophy is that um, let's not have fear um, and let's teach awareness and positive identification um, because I've had customers get uh, bed bugs in their bed bugs, they don't discriminate. Lice don't discriminate. Before we answer Heather's question, let's get a little lice lesson. Lice feed off of human blood, so they have to have human blood to survive. They live and breed on the hair follicle and they feed off the scalp. But is lice related to a person's cleanliness or environment, whether that be your home, school, or even a movie theater? That is false. Having lice is, has nothing to do with personal hygiene. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with socioeconomic reasons. Um, it's just a matter of, of being human. Especially our little humans. The nature of being a kiddo just makes close contact more likely. But what about those lice with superhero-like skills? Can you treat super lice with the over-the-counter medicines that doctors and pest control technicians recommend as a first line of defense? That's false. Most states in the United States have a strain of lice that are resistant to the pyrethrins, which are the over-the-counter active ingredients. They're genetically evolved to resist or be tolerant to the typical treatments. So if you treated your kiddo and found in 48 hours they still had active lice on their head, you might consult your physician. We have nets. We have lots of eggs. While experts say lice can only live off your scalp for about 24 hours before they die, they do recommend taking some precautions around your house. To take all the linens, uh, clothes, garments that have been worn and wash them in hot water is really the only thing that's necessary. They do recommend vacuuming uh, upholstery and couches. We try to remove and exclude, so we treat everything that, that we know is contaminated and, and some things we bag it up. Chad Richardson, our pest control expert, says there are some other options, but these are not to be put on people. There's a lot of good chemicals out there now that you can spray any, except for your skin. You can spray stuffed animals and pillows and mattresses. So back to Heather's question, can you get lice from a movie theater seat? Technically, I think that's possible. Lice, fortunately, don't live off the human body for very long. So any lice that's on a hat or a comb or a brush or a chair at the movie theater, if it had just gotten there, it's possible to contract lice that way, but it would be really unlikely. We can verify this is a fact. But even Chad agrees. The answer is it's possible, but not likely at all. But if you do get lice in your family, don't skip the knit combing step. It may seem tedious, but you've got to remove the eggs with this guy because the over-the-counter medicines don't kill those eggs. All right, thank you, Dana. If you have a story you want to verify,